Thanks for staying with us. Let's turn our attention now to the war between Russia and Ukraine. The energy company in uh, Centrinego says a major power plant near Kyiv has been completely destroyed by Russian strikes. Ukrainian government officials say the AAA power plant was the largest electricity provider for three regions, including Kyiv. We have more in this report. The Centrinego chairman, Andre Hota, says the scale of destruction is terrifying. Mr. Hota says the strikes destroyed the transformer, the turbines, the generators, and they were destroyed 100%. The Centrinego boss said the plant was targeted by multiple missiles, but staff on shift were able to escape or cover as soon as a drone hits the power plant. Residents were urged to shut their windows, charge all their devices, and stock up on water. More than 80 missiles and drones reportedly targeted sites across Ukraine in the early hours of Thursday. Mr. Hotter says the destruction of the Trapula plant would not be a critical issue for Ukraine in the summer, but he believes that by the winter it would become a giant problem. Russia has several times targeted Ukraine's energy system in the long-running war. On the flip side, Former UK Defence Minister James Hippey says Britain should consider sending troops to Ukraine to support them in their war with Russia. Mr Hippey, who stepped down last month, said British soldiers should be deployed to support Kiev's war effort, but should not fight on the front line. You've got to be careful about how you do it. I think definitely nowhere near a combat zone. I think you've got to be very, very careful not to make it into a Russo-NATO war. Russia has mobilized its entire economy. It will grow its armed forces significantly. If Ukraine grinds to a stalemate and we end up with a sort of cold war uh, on the broadly the current lines, or heaven forbid he is successful in Ukraine, then I think actually we might be in a situation where NATO's numerical superiority rapidly starts to be caught up with. It's been over two years of war between Russia and Ukraine. Neither the use of force nor diplomacy has been able to bring it to an end.